What's going on guys? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cameron. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. And if you're anything like me, you like to build and customize cars. Now, what is the perfect car? I don't know if anyone can answer that question because you have things like a Koenigsegg, you have things like Lamborghinis and all this stuff. Those are very nice. They're also very, very expensive. And if you're like me in any way, you don't have that kind of money. But what is the perfect project car that you can take to a show that can turn heads possibly win awards if done correctly and it costs under five grand Honda Civic maybe a really old Mustang no it's none of those today we're going to be talking about the perfect project car hope you all enjoy about a project you need to have manual transmission has to have a good wow factor turn heads gas mileage even if you want sounds nice well this is all of the above and it has been one of the my one of my most favorite projects that we've ever taken care of I think it beats the Mustang it beats the Eclipse Planes flying really low. Recording. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Alright. Still going. Okay. And we're done. Alright. It beats out both of the bikes we've been working on, and it costs less than most of the cars that you can buy second hand. So let's just get into it. This little guy right here is a 1968 Volkswagen Beach Buggy. They're kind of hard to find. This is the only downfall of this car. We found it down in Utah in some guy's backyard. It has been sitting there for 25 years, untouched, unmoved. Spark plugs were out of the motor. There was no plug wires blocking it. So that was completely shot, but we took it home. My mother wanted one and since Today, recording this, is the day after Mother's Day. It's been exactly one year since this car's been completed. Now, a little about this car. It's a 68, like I said. It's got the original pan still in it. It's a 1600cc Volkswagen engine. Didn't look anything like that when we got it. Those are 65 Mustang taillights. I don't know exact year, but that's the body style. The only things remaining from when we first got the project that are still in the car are the pan, which is the metal part in the floor that is bright green, the bar, the windshield, the steering column, and the wheels. Everything else has been replaced. Now, if you think that sounds like it's an expensive process, it's not the cheapest, not gonna lie. But like I said, this is under $5,000. So I'm gonna go grab our little parts list and we'll get right into how much it costs. Okay, as you can see, we have this really nice double-sided parts list here. It is signed by all of the uh, people in my family who helped build this and it's called Project Beachin. It's the first restoration product project you can see there. And we're just gonna go through all the parts that were needed. Uh, we needed a fuse box, uh, the rubber that goes around the bottom of the body, uh, center console, ended up scratching that. We needed to remove the air box, we removed the stock heater vents that go back into the, the, uh, the cabin. We needed a new steering wheel, we needed new seats. This came with racing bucket seats. They were the most uncomfortable thing I've ever seen. Parking brake, I haven't done that yet. Uh, we needed to paint the frame, as you see we went black there. We need a carpet, that's on the way. Uh, we need wiring, 
We needed ignition. We needed brake lights. We needed front lights. We needed blinkers. We needed to redo the dash. We needed a, another ignition, apparently. We needed to paint the car. We needed to take the front suspension or the front bumper. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read. These are all crossed off. We needed a gas tank. We needed steering bolts. We needed a master brake cylinder, gas and clutch cable. We needed a, a shift. Oh, we needed to learn what the shift pattern was because we had no idea. The turning brakes are in the car. We needed shocks front and rear. We needed to get a new exhaust because it was rusted through. We needed a new car. We needed a new pedal assembly, spark plugs, battery, and battery cables, gas line, tire suspension bushings, and to redo all of the bolts. That's a lot of parts. But here's the thing, with the price of the car being $700 and all of those parts coming to a total of just under five grand. And you get that. Everyone absolutely loves the car. We call it Kermit because if you look from the front here, it looks like a little froggy. Bright green paint. This was probably the most expensive part is the paint, which I did myself. This was the first cover I painted. It was the, the most stressful thing I've ever done. But it's done. We fixed it. We're done. We're good. Those are stock wheels, front and back. We've got used tires to cut the price a little bit. The audio system, this was an afterthought. This is a Bluetooth audio system. There are speakers all up in there. Our speakers underneath this panel in here. I don't know if you can see these holes here. This was the most recent addition was this leather carp piece to cover up all the wiring. It's got functioning headlights, taillights. Speedo does not work. We gotta fix that soon. But this is you can use this as a daily. It drives just like a 68 Volkswagen Beetle. It just has no top. So you hope it doesn't rain. Which it does pretty much every time I drive it. It's great. All of these parts here, all of the chrome, the chrome alternator, the timing, valve covers, they all came from Amazon. It really makes it look so much better back here. Red air filter ties it all together. The exhaust is original 68. It's fading pretty bad, which we need to repaint. It used to be black, but the engine gets hot and melts off the paint. Quite great. Wouldn't recommend doing that. We upholstered these seats ourselves. We've never upholstered before in our lives. Turned out okay. Underneath there, registration, and there's what am I trying to think? The battery. And that just velcros in. It has fully functioning ground effect lights on there, which really make the buggy shine at night leather stock seats man i don't know what else to tell you guys we're just gonna fire it up and see how it sounds I think it's about time that we get it out and we get it on the road. What do you think, little guy? We're gonna get out on the road. We're gonna go grab a drink, that's my guess. And we're just gonna drive. See you guys in a second. It's just a random side thing. Shift out in here is one, two, three, four, neutral. Pull up on the little tabby tab thing. Over, down, that is reverse. It took us a very long time to figure that out. We're a bunch of morons.
made at home. Got that drink, dark pepper with lime. Don't knock it, just try it. It's really good. Um, the parts just came in for that bike, that bike that you can now see. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. It's a little hard to drive a manual vlog and pull the drink all at the same time. I really need to put a cup holder in there. I'm thinking either on this wall or on the trans tunnel. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video about the buggy. More is to come with the little green thing since the weather is finally nice outside. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I mean, look at this. I've been waiting so long for this. Winter is stupid. I don't know why I live here. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. I really do. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Just remember that the best project, it doesn't have to be this one. It's the project that you have, the one that you enjoy, the one that you love and care for, the one you put your passion into. So this has been Kermit, the little green buggy. My name is Cameron. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. See you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.